out tonight. For some time in the past two or three years, Roger and I have been considering bringing Cordofinia back out, back out on the road. And, uh, I've always wanted to play the version we did back in 1996. Roger had some new ideas and boy, I'm so glad that he took this up because it's a completely different version. It's all about the music. Thanks, Roger, for doing this new skin. You can see all the people that helped him if you buy a program, they're all in there. But right on stage here is very important. I worked with Roger a lot in the past three or four years. He's a guitar player, but he's not playing guitar tonight. I didn't want to compete with anybody else. But he's a great music director. This has been very tough to put together. You can see how complicated it is. This is Frank Sines. Thanks, Frank, for not pointing out when I play a bum note. Fuck off for thousands of them. Because I'm the composer though, I can get away with it. It's variations. It's variations. On the album that we recorded in 1973, still my favourite Who album. Uh, John Anderson played a lot of brass. He was a wonderful brass player. He played the whole range of brass instruments, right from small brass cornets all the way down to valve trombones and stuff. So we've got the brass here covered uh, right here by Reggie Grisham. And from Reading, Pennsylvania. You do really have all the best birds. <laughs> oh, I had a great girl from Pennsylvania. She's in the book. Read the fucking book. She's there. Um, over here on, on keyboards, a wonderful keyboard player covering all of the synthesizer stuff that I did on the album, piano, keyboards, and all that kind of stuff. Lauren Gold! And last of the new boys on piano, John Corey! And the guys that come out with us when we go out, we haven't been out for a while, but here we are again on bass, Pino Paladino! Pino's from uh, Wales, which is a little part of the United Kingdom, but he's got an Italian name. Do you notice that when John Emerson does his thing up there, Pino respectfully leaves the stage? I'm not bloody well standing up here when I bloody Emerson plays his bloody bass. I'm not being compared to him. Bloody fingers all over the bloody place, I and mean, what's he trying to prove? <laughs> Next to him, my brother, Simon Townsend, the guitar of Uncle. So battling with um, the images of people who died too young. Uh, Keith Moon was this man's mentor, I suppose, in many ways. Our drummer, Zach Starkey! And thanks again to Roger Dolce for putting this together. Thank you, Roger. Thank
few more things, and if you've seen the show before, there's a lot of these people.